Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Guidance Software's virtual classroom. We call it VClass. My name is Jamie Tubb, and together with Jeremy Leroy, we designed virtual class uh, to be uh, a classroom environment that you can take and not even realize that you are lacking the actual classroom. You can take it from your home. You can take it from your office. You can even take it from uh, the conference room if that's what you decide. It doesn't matter as long as you have an internet connection, dual monitors, and uh, a desire to learn. This is, this is perfectly for you. So basically, what, what you see is in the upper right-hand corner of your computer screen, you'll see a video of the instructor uh, speaking. Uh, it's exactly what you would see during the class environment. On the bottom right-hand corner, you also see the chat window. The chat window is for you to ask questions during the class or banter back and forth with other students, whatever you decide. It depends on your personality. The main screen monitor area is also the area where uh, the instructor's desktop gets projected so you can follow along with the instructor who will be using Encase or additional software to try to uh, bring across the learning concepts that we, that we wish to show. So basically, uh, class goes from 8 to 5 just like it normally would. Uh, that would be 8 to 5 currently central time, but we're moving that out uh, not only from central to uh, UK and, and everywhere else. So it depends on what class is offered. Just pay attention to where it's offered and, and then it would be in your time zone or in the time zone that the classroom's in. In the classroom we use Adobe Connect. Uh, we also use LogMeIn Remote Desktop. The reason why we use Remote Desktop and LogMeIn is for the second monitor, um, the, the reason why we uh, request that you have dual monitors, so that you can follow along. You actually remote into a machine located in our classroom uh, right next to the rest of our students who are taking the class live while you take it virtually. Uh, that allows you to follow along and, and there will be absolutely no different than you sitting in the classroom except for <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're sitting wherever you want to be. We do recommend, we have some recommendations which I'll, I'll cover in a few minutes. So. Uh, lunch, we take normal lunch breaks. We take 10 minute breaks on top of each hour just like you would if you were in class. We do have some recommendations like I said and there are that you have dual monitors if you're in virtual class that you have a wired network connection with uh, solid speeds of 5 and 5. It's, it's a little bit less is fine, but uh, we've had some issues when you get down too low and people try to do it on a Wi-Fi that, I mean, think about it. You're, you're streaming uh, RDP, a remote desktop. You're streaming video and audio of the instructor as well as the instructor's desktop. At some point, you're going to reach the max on your, on your wireless connection. So we recommend a wired. And uh, telephone if you want to uh, call and, and get help from us or where we can call you and ask questions of you if need be. A quiet workplace to take the class. I know it might be hard, but uh, you know, just because you're not in our classroom doesn't mean that uh, keeping up is, is an issue because keeping up in the class, the class sometimes builds on itself. Things you do on day one, you might use on day two. So if you take an hour or two to, to take a, a meeting, uh, then you, know, you might have to play catch up with, with one of our instructors or you might just have to watch that part and not, not participate. So we recommend you keep up with the class and a quiet workplace always helps uh, with that. We have the same thing uh, in classes that the uh, copying of evidence files is not permitted. So we won't have to worry about that. Uh, class absences, we talk about class absences. Um, we do expect you to participate in the class uh, using the Adobe Connect uh, back and forth with chatting. If you do have to miss a portion of the class, uh, just pick up where you left off. I mean, we understand things do happen and and you know, if you are at home or if you are at your office, you're going to take a phone call. We understand that. So, the other thing is a uh, chat etiquette. Uh, when you're typing in the chat windows, realizing that uh, the rest of the students can see what you type, you do have the ability to enter into a private chat with the host and answer and ask questions, but back and forth. That way, uh, your questions, if you think it's uh, a question that you want, don't want to ask publicly, you can do that in a private chat. A course manual, you have two choices. Uh, one, one is that a course manual is given to you. Um, if you sign up farther than two weeks out, you get a paper manual. If you sign up, though, within two weeks, we just can't possibly get it from the printer to you fast enough, and we issue you a Adobe PDF file. That Adobe course manual is good for two weeks with digital rights management installed. Uh, we just also ask that the Monday before class, you spend about 15 minutes making sure that all your gear is set up and ready to go. Log into the classroom environment. It will be available for you, waiting on you. Uh, there will be emails sent to you with, with invitations to both 
log me in and invitations to Adobe Connect. That way you can make sure that all of your software and hardware is working perfectly for uh, class on Tuesday morning. If you start on Tuesday morning and you, you don't have it already tested, it's kind of hard while we're teaching class to troubleshoot whatever your issues are. Uh, we currently don't give CPE credits for this uh, virtual classroom, and that is only because we haven't yet gotten certification authority uh, to, to allow us to, to give CPE. We are working on it adamantly, and, and we'll keep you up to date on that as well. There's a phone number you can call. Here it is. And uh, thank you very much for dealing with us and, and learning the, the virtual classroom. So now that the slideshow is done, basically what I want to do is I want to get out of here and, and go into Encase and kind of give you just a taste of what you would get in the class and show you uh, everything that you need to see in order to, to realize this is what I would see in, if I was in the classroom. So I'm going to open up a new case. And in my new case, I'm going to call it uh, VClass Test. I'll use the base case folder and I'm going to change this to the D drive so our path for our evidence drive or our path for our working drive is going to be the D drive. So we have the name is VClass Test, the full case path, and then the base case folder. I want to change this to cases. Oops, misspelling. All right, so D cases and base case folder, no secondary evidence cache, and we'll leave the backup. Uh, options alone. I'll change the case number to 001. I'll change my the examiner name to me. I'll change the description to high profile case for HR human resources. High profile case for HR. Okay, and now I'm ready to begin. Uh, it's going to ask me, do I want to create this folder? And yes, in fact, I do want to create that folder. So the last thing I want to do is add evidence. So I'll go to the Add Evidence button. Add Evidence File. It's going to prompt me for where my evidence file is located. If I've already done the acquisition, I'll go to my Evidence Folders and just simply pick a piece of evidence that I'm uh, interested in putting in this case. Click on it, and as you can see, down in the bottom right hand corner, it is verifying the evidence file. When it completes, I'll go to the report view. While we're waiting on that, let's talk about the emails you're going to receive for your LogMeIn remote desktop account. It's going to come from the LogMeIn auto mailer. You'll receive it when you do. It will have a, a LogMeIn link. Click on that. It will ask you to put in a username and password. The username is the email that you've already used. So the password is Simply put it in once, put it in a second time, create the account. There's no more information you need to put in. LogMeIn doesn't record anything else. Click Create Account. Once you've created the account, it will produce to you the computer that you're authorized to use by us. If you click on that, it will take you to the screen. Once you authenticate using the username VClass and the password Class123 with a capital C and log on to the gst.domain, you can click on Save Credentials. Saving the credentials will save everything but the password. Once you've logged in and authenticated, it'll ask you to put in the LogMeIn client to install it. You can download it, go to your Downloads folder, click on it, and it will install locally on your machine. And when that happens, you will have a full screen remote desktop connection through LogMeIn. As you can see, there are some options up top. We'll discuss those in a minute. There's Encase on the screen right now, which we'll go ahead and start up. It's going to ask us when we start it up if we want to install um, Password as a viewer. You can choose yes, it's fine. And then choose no, you don't want to register because there are encased dongles. Full screen encase. Let's do exactly what the instructor did earlier, which was make a new case, V class. This is how you would be following along. Change the options to the D drive, cases. And then use the base case folder for the primary evidence cache. Choose the case number, 001. Choose the examiner name, which is you, the student. Click OK. And then choose the description of the case, which was the high profile investigation, high profile case for HR. Click OK. 
And now you're ready to choose OK to begin. Because it doesn't have a folder, we'd like to create one. Of course you would. Click on the Add Evidence button. We're going to add an evidence file. The evidence file, we would just be following along with the instructor, which is what the instructor just did previously. As you can see, it's the remote desktop connection is very smooth. Once it completes verifying this information, what we'd end up with is a acquisition verification hash. And while we're waiting on that, let's talk about some of the options that we get uh, utilizing uh, logging. So if you go to the top of the screen and hover, you'll you'll find that you open up the customized toolbar and you'll get some, some different options. Uh, the options are connect drives, sync, lock keyboard, all the kind of things that you think you'd normally get with the remote desktop functionality. But the next button over gives you resolution settings. So you can choose the different resolutions for your screen. As you can see, it's not full screen for us now, but it's about to be. There we go. Now it's full screen. The resolution is 1280 by 720. We can change the automatic uh, quality settings and color. And then we can go, if the next button is a control and delete button. We don't suspect that you'll need that any at all this week because you're not going to be locking your machines. You can leave them open. The next button is the options button for um, determining different layout options. So keyboard for specifically. And as we finish that, we'll have some other options which deal with magnifying sound, color quality, view, all different types of stuff, full screen, not full screen, locking the keyboard. You get the idea. These options are, and functionalities are ones that, that are offered to you through the uh, LogMeIn software. The only other thing we'd, we'd like to talk about is, is how functionally you can use this to transfer files from our computer to yours. Now, we don't want you to do that during class because during class, it will bog down the network connection. But uh, after class in the evenings, uh, as long as you do it before Friday night, because Friday after class we, we close the machines down, what you can do is you can opt out and do that. It will show you how to do that in a few minutes. So as you can see, it verified. Uh, everything completely verified with zero errors. That's good. And then we will uh, continue on uh, with our options within Adobe Connect. So once you've closed the connection, you can just go to the File Manager option, open up the File Manager option, and you end up with two computers up, just like it was an FTP. The one on the right is, is the remote computer. The one on the left is your actual computer. We're just going to steer over to the Take the Stuff folder. It's called Take the Stuff because we want you to take it. All week long, we'll be putting items in there. And if you just drag that to your computer and hit Yes, you will begin the transfer of the data. As you can see, it's not that hard. Thanks. I hope that you are willing to give this a try. I, I know that if you do, you'll like it. We've had great reviews from uh, people who have already taken the virtual classroom, and I hope to add you to that list. Thank you very much for coming today and being inquisitive about our virtual classroom.